Hey, what's up, you two friends? Today, we're going to make something delicious that we've always made since I was little. Um, it is the meatloaf. Of course, there's millions of different ways you can make meatloaf, and some people just make it a little boring. They think it's just one big hamburger in form of a loaf of bread type, but it's not. There's so many different ways you can make it to make it delicious and make it your way, make it so that your family loves it with the ingredients that your family loves. Um, today... I just want to show you, we've got three pounds of hamburger. I'm putting using mozzarella cheese, um, breadcrumbs, some garlic, a little bit of Dijon mustard, some ranch dressing, and some barbecue, barbecue sauce. And no, not the dog biscuits. Um, just a little helpful hint of a uh, tidbit of history. Um, meatloaf started in Rome ancient Rome, and then migrated into uh, Europe, where then the Germans and the Scandinavians started enjoying it, and it's along with uh, Sweden. But in Germany, they actually put in hard-boiled eggs into their meatloaf, along with mozzarella cheese. And that's what we'll be using today. No eggs, though. But we'll continue on with this. And also, what I've got going in the oven, just to get things going, is I'm making uh, bacon and frying up some onions that's minced. Well, what I ended up doing was I pulled out the bacon and it turned out good. I just wanted to cook it out of the, from the stove at 400 degrees and it worked out good. If you want crispy, you can. Any kind of bacon the way you want it because you're going to be eating it. You'll love it. Now here what I'm also doing is I'm frying up a little bit more onion and I'm just going to get it so it's a little bit translucent and that's going to go inside the meat with all the other ingredients. And I'll get back to you in just a second. I'm also cooking in with the onion. I want to cook up some of the some of the minced garlic that we have. You can just get this at the local store or if you want to really get fancy just do your own garlic from scratch which is extremely good too, but this way for me it's just a little bit quicker, a little easier. And with meatloaf, you don't have to have everything by ounces and a pinch of that or a pinch of this. Just have fun with it. Do anything you want with it. There's a lot of times where my wife says, if, if you can make a, a dynamite hamburger, you can make a dynamite meatloaf or vice versa. Because you can do it with the meat, once you put all the ingredients in, you could actually just make hamburgers out of this for a party, and it tastes incredible. You've got to try it. Okay, I'm ready for the ingredients. And again, like I said, you can add anything you want to it. Like here's the Dijon mustard, just for a little flavor. If you don't like this, put regular mustard, yellow mustard, or don't put mustard in. There's no exact ingredients. Put in anything you really want. Ranch is extremely good. Some people actually will put in mayo in this as well, and it tastes just as good. Here's going in Sweet Baby Ray's. As you can see, there's no measuring. Just, again, have fun with it, enjoy it. And if it's going to be different every time you make it, so be it. That's what makes it exciting. Okay. Had to get the ketchup bottle open. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add breadcrumbs and two eggs and then mozzarella and I'll get back to you after I start mixing this all together. Just to let you know, I added the egg, two eggs, I added the onion and garlic and I added also the breadcrumbs in. The breadcrumbs could be regular breadcrumbs, um, it could be the breadcrumbs that you buy from the store, um, it could be saltine crackers that you take and you um, use a rolling pin and, and powder them, and it tastes just as great. 
I'm going to just mix this all up, add the cheese and mix that in, and we'll go from there. Okay, just mixed up the batch. Now what I'm doing is I'm just putting in grated mozzarella cheese. A lot of times people get uh, mozzarella cubes and they just push it into, into the meat. That's extremely good as well, but this is all I had. That's what you got around the house to use. So I'm just going to knead this into the meat. Just make, give it a good mix. Doesn't have to be perfect, just fun. What I did was I, I added also, I put um, gloves on. Um, a lot of people don't like to touch their meat, you know, and then they serve it. So a lot of times people will just buy gloves like this and you just wash, wash them because you've got sometimes uh, like the powder on these gloves. And if you wash them, then you're, you're good to go. So what I'll take now is, I'll take this meat and we'll put it by the pan. It comes out pretty solid. And here you can kind of make it in the shape of a, of a loaf, loaf of bread, henceforth meatloaf. But if you make it too thick, It'll take forever to cook. <laughs> the other cook of the house said it's too thin. So we'll we'll go with that. And I put I sprayed the glass with uh, just some cooking pan and I put a few uh, cubes of butter. And now what you're probably wondering is finally what I'm doing with this bacon is I'm just putting this on top of the meatloaf and it's just going to give it that little bit of bacon infusion. You can press it in. And you got a little bit of that caramelized onion in there. And some people even take some of the some of the grease from the from the bacon and just drizzle it on top of the meatloaf, and it gives you just that extra bacony taste, which is incredible. And then we're gonna put it in now in the oven, we'll set the timer or the oven for four, 400 or 350, 400, and then we'll cover it with tin foil, and we'll get back to you, and I'll probably have it in for at least an hour. Just wanted to keep everybody up to speed. What I'm also making with this meal is some corn. I'm making mashed potatoes, probably just steamed up the lens, and some gravy. The gravy is just Heinz Homestyle Savory Beef. It's cheap enough at the store, and it, it goes good with it. What I did was when I pulled out, I uncovered it, and that's what it looks like so far. It, it cooks off a lot of grease, so I ended up just dumping some into this glass container. And then it's, so it's not festering in, in the meat and cooking in it. And also for biscuits, um, these are just Hawaiian sweets from uh, Aldi. And they're incredible. What I did was I, uh, I egg washed it, meaning I scrambled one egg and brushed it on. And sprinkled some garlic salt on the top. Trust me, they're incredible. This is the final product. And man, does it smell good in here. What I did was I had to cut it. So you can see the inside. You just want to look to make sure to, that, that the food is cooked. And you can see there, there's no red, it's not pink inside, it looks really good. So this is the meal, this is the meatloaf I was telling you about. Everything goes with it, the biscuits, I've got the corn, the gravy, and bam, mashed potatoes. Um, if you have any, again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, subscribe, and I'll be making a lot more different um, dinners and foods that usually is not on YouTube in a different way, and I hope you enjoy it, and have a great day.